sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to legendary Lambeau Field in Green Bay. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Baltimore Ravens and the Green Bay Packers. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go from Lambeau. Keyshawn Nixon now from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five. Yuckled it to 20. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. Rodgers going to come out throwing. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off by Roquan Smith. And the Ravens are going to take possession of the football. Wow, just one snap in, partner, and the complexion of this game has already changed because for the defensive side, they just handed their offense a short field and a big early advantage. And even though it's only the first snap of the game, we're going to look back on this one and see if it has lasting effects as this game moves on. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. Well, we all know the guy carrying the ball is going to get the credit, both in the stat line and probably in the newspaper. But guess what? Those guys creating holes, they couldn't feel better about themselves right now. Offensive line, tight end, probably even the wide receivers are involved. They're moving the ball well. Now Dobbins again on second down. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. They haven't made much of this great starting field position they had. Here's third and six. Here's Jackson to throw. That's going to be caught. Touchdown. Devin Duvernay, 27 yards. And the Ravens have taken the early lead on the road here at Lambeau. Well, they said that they wanted to get him involved early, and what a way to cap their opening drive, Charles. We know he's one of the fastest receivers in the NFL, and he showcased it on that play. And when you have a guy like that, you want to make sure the defense sees him early, right? You want to see how they're going to adjust, how they're going to try and guard him, because they can't replicate his speed in practice unless they've got one of the few guys who are as fast as he is. And all it took was one drive, he burned them, and I don't think it's the last time they call his number in this one. Nixon now from his end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. Not the start that they were hoping for. The interception on the first play of the game, it leads to six points the other way. How do you rebound from here? Yeah, a little bit of humor. Got to laugh that one off and not the ha-ha. That was very funny, but kind of like, can you believe that just happened? Let's go out and play now. Let's just start over. 
Well, that was his first target of the game, and it's going to take at least one more target to get him on the board. Took a nice, substantial hit to jar that catch loose from him. Incomplete pass. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing now is Rodgers. He has it complete to Christian Watson. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Rodgers to throw on third and one. Going up top. A fight for the football, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Marcus Williams. And the Ravens will take over here at their own 14-yard line. Well, they're certainly not giving much help to their defense, are they? Because for the second time now, that D has had to run back out on the field early after an interception. And remember, on the last drive, the opposing side took it in for six after that interception. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They have to be thrilled with that first drive. They got him the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two-score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week in practice, in meetings, talking about taking an early... There he goes, left side. 30, 10, and all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Demarcus Robinson. Excellent work there to get in on the touchdown run. And the Ravens are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. And Charles, I had an offensive coordinator tell me one time that they designed every play to score. I don't know how true that is, but he had to run a long way after that catch. Heck of a play. I think that when he was telling you that, he was designing run after catch in every play. <laughs> I mean, that, that's the only way to put it in there, and that's what we got on that one. Nice catch, an even better run for big yardage. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Nixon now from his end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively, obviously. Two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week, not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. Rogers gonna throw. They'll complete this one to Watson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here we go, D. Hey, hey, 40's Mike. Hey, 626. Let's go, D. 
And they'll bring the big tight end across the formation left. From midfield, here's Rodgers. Got his man, it's Bo Melton. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, Push staying ahead of schedule. Push him back. 40's mark, 40's mark. He's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get 300. Get 300. Rough this. Rough. Over, 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 over. Slant. Just three Rodgers to throw once more. And Rodgers intercepted a third time. It's Chuck Clark picking it off. And the Ravens are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. Well, I'm not sure that the wheels, Charles, are coming completely off, but they're shaking a little bit. That's three interceptions and now interceptions here on back-to-back -back drives. And I think about what a Hall of Fame coach told me that he always told his teams, when a mistake happens, just move on to the next play. Let it go. Hard to do when you've thrown this many interceptions. That's exactly the attitude that has to be adopted. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. 14 0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. A good position to be in here, second and inches. Now it's Jackson. Slings it to Anders, and it's complete. The tight end has it. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Jackson on first down. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free and it's second down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion. To throw again on second down. Jackson. That's into the hands of Prochet. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And this goes out wide for Drake. It'll be a gain of five, and it's second down. Defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Now flags come in. I think one of the Ravens got going a little early. False start penalty, and now they're back to needing 10 yards on second down. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. I think the reason that this play is so successful is not just the blocking at the point of attack, but how about the speed at which he takes the handoff? He's in motion already. So he's not coming from a flat start like a running back often is. He's at a full run by the time he gets the football. They scored touchdowns on drives one and two, and now they're trying to make it a perfect three for three to start. Edwards, touchdown, Baltimore. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best blocker. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. 
Tucker with the extra point, and it's now 21 to nothing. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's... And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. A great pick, nice return, but you know he's just beating himself up inside for not getting all the way in. No doubt about it, because he had visions of end zone in his mind. Going to be the total hero, but we did see there the emphasis on it's not just good enough to pick it off anymore. Bring it back, get the yardage, and really help out your offense. Suddenly it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. And they'll try to pound it in with Ricard. And he will take it in for a Ravens touchdown. Patrick Ricard, a touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Ravens are able to add on to their first half lead. Tucker now to add the point after. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28-0 now. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Nixon now from his end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception. On he's got a man complete. And he's going to get this down near the 25. Every defensive staff harps on limiting explosive plays. <laughs> Job not so well done there. Yeah, they talk about it all the time. A lot harder to stop, though, isn't it? And when you think of an explosive play, most offensive staffs define them as passes of 20 or more yards and runs of 15 or more yards. They went zooming past that number there. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he'll get maybe a couple before he's taken down as that will take us to the two-minute warning. Play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. And Lewis has it, the tight end. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do, you got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end. Take some easier completions. Yeah, interception last drive. There he hits the reliable target. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Now Rodgers. And Watson has it right side. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. But with the score where it is, you're not thinking field goals right now. You need touchdowns. So that was a much-needed conversion there on third down. 
This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. They fake the give. Now Rodgers. Touchdown, Packers! Boom, Melton. An 11-yard touchdown. And the Packers get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. The extra point hits the left upright but goes through anyway. And it's now a 28-7 ball game. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And with a three-score lead already, this is not time for a momentum change, so I'd imagine they'd be happy to just take this into the locker room. And a nice spin into some open field. And how about that for just running out the clock? 25 yards, the pick up there, and also a first down. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. To throw is Jackson. He's got his man. It's Andrews. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. On first down, Drake. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Brought down that time by Quay Walker. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the left hash, this from 53 yards out. Tucker's kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Ravens ready to receive it, and they've got the lead as well as we resume play in the second half. Well, you don't see that often. He just mishit it, and it goes out of bounds. Well, I know sitting up here, and I'm looking at you, and you're looking at me, and I know we're both thinking the same thing. Isn't it easy enough to keep it between the sidelines? Because unless you're intentionally doing it for some reason, but that's a costly miss hit, and now you put your team in a bad spot. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. Big Kenny Clark that time pushing up field to make the tackle for loss. Well, that's the big drawback to this play. Even if somehow the quarterback pitches it, he's not immune to the big hit. In this case, he kept it and absorbed it anyway. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Jackson and that is incomplete oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead you start playing a little more physically and they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion An 
incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now it's Jackson. Man open is Robinson. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Able to convert on third and 14. A terrific play call. With the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustment, what they talked about, maybe it's just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But looks like they're ready to go. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Another run here with Dobbins. And he's going to be brought down at about the 33-yard line. 47 yards rushing for him now to this point. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Jackson looking to throw on third. And he's got his tight end. That's Andrews. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 21. 12 yards to pick up there. Good for a Raven first. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. That is caught. It's Bateman for a Raven touchdown. Rashad Bateman from 21 yards away. And the Ravens.